Hello, this is a very quick demo on Gaidra and how Gaidra operates. I had to connect to my old computer because uh, if something goes wrong, at least it's uh, kind of sandboxed because as you can see in the instructions that I can give you now, um, Apple is detecting Gaidra as a virus. So Gaidra itself, it's not a virus, it's a tool developed by NSA actually. Uh, if, if I Google Gaidra, uh, let's, no, it's taking Gaidra. Uh, let's go to the web, uh, Wikipedia webpage. So if you go to Wikipedia, you can see that Gaidra, it's free and open source tool developed by the National Security Agency. Um, binaries were released in on the RSA uh, conference that's in San Francisco, annual cybersecurity conference. That's one of the three leading cybersecurity conferences. So you have Black Hat, uh, DEF CON and RSA. So DEF CON is obviously the best. Uh, RSA is uh, more for companies and industry. Black Hat is more for federal agencies and security agencies. And DEF CON is for hackers. So on the RSA conference in March 2019, they published the sources uh, on GitHub. So our um, Gaidra is not that different than IDA Pro, just that for some period of time it was classified and IDA Pro is not classified. Uh, Gaidra is written in Java uh, using the Swing frame framework for GUI. Uh, the decompiler component is written in C++ and therefore unstable in a standalone form. So for this, you need to, scripts are written in Java or Python, uh, yada, 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 there's loads of information over there, which we don't have to go through. I'm just trying to see if there's something very important. Uh, supported architectures. So, okay, so here you have a whole list of architectures that are supported. And once I run a file, it's gonna show you uh, actually, there's more, more than this. So, um, yeah, let's let's actually look at the, how does it work. So, first thing that you need to do, you need to download Gaidra, and uh, you can open this zip file. Uh, as you can see, I've just clicked. I'm downloading it just because I trust the National Security Agency. Otherwise, I would never do this. Uh, you need to do it in a sandboxed environment. And once you have uh, installed it, in, in that it's still downloading here. Uh, hold on. Downloads unconfirmed. Um, I have it downloaded here. So I'm going to speed that up. Otherwise, it's going to take too long. So that's my Gaidra folder. And here, this is the extracted file, which is currently being downloaded. So I'm gonna stop that download. Once you download it, and once you have extracted it, you're gonna get to this file. And all you have to do is click run, but it's not gonna run. That's the catch here, that uh, you need to install other things in order for it to run. And what else do you need to install? Well, let's go through that. First, you need to install, um, <clears throat> the Java 21 or earlier versions. And actually we can find the whole details here in Gaidra if you scroll down installation guide. So in the installation guide here, it will explain what do you need to have installed depending on the type of system that you're using. So if you're using Windows or if you're using uh, Linux, there's different requirements. I'm using Mac OS. So for me, uh, I'm going to be explaining that. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? It's a very long um, instruction video here. And again, video that you don't, uh, text that you don't need to read because I'm going to tell you how to do it here now. Um, yeah, you, see, you can see those are the platforms supported, Windows 10, Linux and Mac OS. And the minimum requirements are listed here, four gigabytes of RAM, one gigabyte of storage, uh, dual monitors strongly suggested. And here you have software Java 21, 64 bit runtime and development kit. Without that, it's not gonna work. I tried and it's not gonna work. So you need to install this first. And once you have installed that, you need to run it. Hold on, there was something else that you need to install. 
Windows, no, Linux and OS, extract the file. Um, yeah, there was something else that you need to install. It's somewhere here and hopefully it's, I'm going to remember throughout the video. Let's see. Um, I have actually stored uh, files here. Ah, yes, Python. You need to install Python 3 unless you don't have it and um, just type Python 3 in Google. It's open source. Uh, so I'm not going to you know, show you how to do that. It's a relatively straightforward process. Let's see what else do I have. Uh, you need to have a virus, so you won't be able to use the tool with, if you don't have a virus. So you need to install a virus. And let's say if you use this uh, WannaCry, a very old virus, you can see that it's still classified as, you know, not something to have on your device. Therefore, you need to have a sandboxed environment before you run this. What else do you need to have? Malware samples. Yes, so there's a link of how you can extract malware samples, and this is uh, uh, the WannaCry uh, sample here. But uh, here you would see that I have examples to Satan, Petya, NonPetya, uh, LucyLocker. Uh, those are just the ransomers. And here you can have various different types of you know, like viruses. Uh, and you have some read uh, examples, the MITRE attack and how to perform those. So anyways, this is the database of viruses. You need to have a virus to analyze. Without the virus, there's nothing to analyze. Um, let's see, Java, Python, virus, malware samples, virus total. So this is the same link basically. So that's the same. I showed you that already. It's the same link twice. Let's uh, remove that um, and there we are so those are the things that you need to have and once you have all of those things gathered together most importantly you need to have Python 3 and Java 21 or later then you can go to the file the guider that you've downloaded and click on this guider run and um, Apple is going to say not opened because this is treated as a virus. So you need to go to your uh, soft settings, uh, settings and security and privacy, which is not something that you would do. I'm just going to show you. I just want to show you how it operates, but this is not something that you would do. Uh, you would basically run a sandboxed environment and run it in there. That's in a nutshell. Uh, all that you need to know. <clears throat> I just want to show you how it runs. So I'm going to click open anyway. Open anyway. Uh, I need to authorize that. And now it's running Gaidra. Gaidra is running and I'm going to close those tips. And those are all the tests that I have performed using Gaidra with various different simple programs that I've built very quickly. Uh, so I didn't really install bugs, um, which you can but I, I try to, you know, just keep it simple. And once you are here, uh, and once you have, you need to create a project. So file, new project. Uh, I don't need to define how that, but without a project, you're not going to be able to operate. So file, new project. I created one yesterday, 1st of January. Uh, that's how I just titled the project. I'm going to delete it after these videos. And in that project, you need to install a file. So this is the file when you're going to install the virus, the program of the virus. And how do you do that? Uh, you would go to file and here there should be import file, import file, and you can import uh, a file. So that's as simple as this six select file to import. Now it's going to say raw binary, yada, yada, yada. And here you're clicking uh, language actually for compiler specifications. So here you need to choose the appropriate language uh, and click OK. And it's going to say you already have this file. So I'm going to word it as 7.1. These options here that you can click or unclick. And why is it not definition or the exist? Oh, 7.1 or 7.2. OK. So it's importing this file. And as you can see, it's because it's not a virus, uh, it doesn't have many functions. So here, you, in, a, in a virus, if you uploaded the WannaCry, you're going to have many functions, in uh, symbols, you're going to have data types and all sorts of information. So this is the first analysis of the results, but not the actual 
uh, analysis. This is just a quick scan of the file. It's telling you what does it contain in the file. So there we are. And now once that is being uploaded, we can open. And how do you open the file? Hold on, let me show you that. You can either, uh, no, close. You can either double click or at the beginning of the program, you have to click and drag and drop it into that dragon or into one of these specific tools. So you would analyze it and here it's giving you options uh, and you can click on specific options and then you can expand on those. So if you click on data reference, it's going to give you options here. Uh, and if you, on top, which you cannot see now, so let me bring it down. You have tools, analyze, let's analyze that. Uh, but here in the tools, you have uh, more options and more windows. So you can create program trees. You can create symbol references, symbol tables, symbol trees. You can analyze this by console. Uh, you can run the data type manager. You can run the decompiler. Um, disassembler view. Those are some of the very simple steps that you need to perform in order to analyze the virus that you have. Uh, you have a debugger. Uh, so that's uh, one option. You have the analyzer. You can auto analyze guide test program uh, and various different functionalities. It's, it's a program. So imagine learning how to use Microsoft Word, how long it's going to take you to learn Microsoft Word. So instead of me showing you one specific options on how to do it, um, it's more important to tell you the concept. Before you run this program, you need to create a virtual environment. It's fairly safe. Microsoft, um, I don't know how Microsoft is going to categorize this app. Um, but I know that Apple considers it as a virus, so you're going to have to uh, give special permissions to run this program, which is what I did now. Uh, and every time Apple is doing that, <clears throat> there's a reason why Apple is doing that. So I'm going to uh, stop that and I'm going to run this again with the Dragon. So this is different type of analysis. So here you have the symbol trees, the data type manager, the program trees going to close that, don't save, and then you can drag and drop it into different uh, functions and see you're going to be getting different uh, analysis de depending, uh, not been analyzed, analyze, okay, analyze. So this is a quick demo of Gaidra. Let me close that, don't save. Let's see if I can run it into the footsteps here. And if you're running it um, version tracking wizards, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll close that. And uh, as you can see, because this is a very simple program that I'm running, there's not much you can do. But if you're running uh, actual virus, so this file here would be a virus like WannaCry, Black Mamba, whatever. And then you're going to get a lot more inputs. Uh, you can build, build those classifiers and declassifiers. Um, so what else do I need to tell you about Kydra? This is where it's stored. That's the file. Um, and I think this video demo is enough <clears throat> before we go too deep into it. So remember to install the Java 21. Remember to install the Python. Remember to install a virtual machine of your choice. Uh, and if you get stuck, read the Guidra installation guide, uh, which is here. It's on the web page at the bottom. Uh, this installation guide. Uh, you're gonna need to have a virus, and the reason why I'm not gonna do more detailed demo is that I need to create virtual environment. I need to run the virus. My work device is at work. Uh, I'm using my personal devices, and I don't want to be running many viruses on my personal devices, even though they're fairly safe. It's just as a precaution. Uh, I created when I was showing you how the Gaidra operates, so I created a program, not a virus. I created a random program, quick program, and I used the program to demonstrate. So this is a quick demo of Gaidra. I will see you in the next one. Remember, this is part of the series on uh, AI security course that I'm teaching with O'Reilly and Pearsons. 
and it's going to be a whole playlist now. This video is going to be part of a playlist, and in that playlist, I'm going to be taking talking about Bayesian optimization, uh, Snook, Deep Code AI, Cuckoo Sandbox, and various different tools. So Guidra is just one piece of this large course. Uh, so if you want to see the course, either subscribe with O'Reilly at Pearson's and watch it there. The course is tomorrow, 3rd of January. Or if you watch this later, then join the channel and you can watch the playlist of uh, the videos are basically preparation for my course. Uh, the course is going to be much shorter though. So the, the videos here are longer and I'm trying to compress that into a few minutes. Nobody wants to listen to people rambling a long time on a video course. See you in the next one.